Okay, so today we're making this delicious spinach and egg breakfast burrito, and it's vegan. Yeah, you heard me say that. You heard me say egg. You heard me say vegan. It is vegan. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this tasty breakfast burrito. It's packed with tater tots and spinach and vegan egg, and it's just drenched in this ranchero sauce, but also stay tuned because I'm gonna tell you how to store spinach. I'm gonna tell you how to store cilantro. I'm gonna tell you how to store tortillas. So we're gonna have all these food storage tips at the end of the video too. So be sure to stay tuned for those. Okay. So the thing about this recipe is you're making this breakfast burrito and you have to have all these ingredients inside the burrito that have to be cooked first. So I recommend setting your oven to 250 degrees because everything that we're making in this burrito has to be cooked and you want to keep it warm before you get to the point of making the actual burrito, right? So the spinach, the scrambled eggs, the tater tots, the ranchero sauce, put them on oven safe things, put them on a baking sheet, put them in the oven after you saute the spinach, after you make the scrambled eggs, all that stuff, put it in there to keep it warm until you're ready to make the burrito. So first thing you do is warm the tortilla. You can do this a couple different ways. If you have a gas burner, you can turn the burner on, warm the tortilla over the gas burner, or you can put it in the microwave with a damp paper towel and microwave it for about 20 seconds. Both of those methods will get the tortilla nice and warmed and flexible and pliable for making your breakfast burrito. By the way, I forgot to mention, this is a recipe that was inspired by Logan Lynn. So I've met a lot of great people on Twitter and I've had a lot of them on my show from Freddie Prince Jr. to Valerie Bertinelli. And I'm very excited to have Logan Lynn. So you should definitely check out that interview. But this recipe was inspired by my interview with him. Okay. so. Do you like corn tortillas or flour tortillas? I prefer flour tortillas myself, but drop a comment down below and tell me which one you prefer. And hey, you know what? It's the perfect time to give this video a thumbs up too. So we're gonna go ahead and make this breakfast burrito. So just lay the warm tortilla down flat. We're gonna add in our tater tots, cook the tater tots per the package instructions. Next, we're gonna add in our sauteed spinach. Go ahead and top that spinach off with that vegan egg. So I'm using the Just Egg brand for this, but you can use any vegan egg that you want, or if you're not vegan, you can use real egg, it's up to you. And then after the egg, we're gonna go ahead and top it off with some slices of avocado. Okay, so the first storage tip, how to store spinach. So the thing about spinach, if you buy it in a bag at the grocery store, is that spinach really needs to like not have moisture on it. So if you buy it in the bag, you're gonna to wanna to transfer it to something that's I think firmer. Um, if you buy the clamshell one, that's fine. But what you wanna do is you wanna line that packaging, that clamshell or whatever container you're storing it in with paper towels. Put some paper towels on the bottom, put it around the side, that'll help absorb any moisture that builds up in that package. So that'll keep the spinach fresh for a really long time. Store that way, spinach can actually last for weeks. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and roll our burrito up. So you wanna take the sides of the burrito, take each end, fold that up, and then the same motion, the edge of the burrito that's nearest to you, take your thumbs and like pull that and fold that over the top of the ingredients. Keep doing so until you have that edge of the tortilla touch the inside of the tortilla. And then in the same motion, using your fingers, pull those ingredients under that flap of the tortilla so that way it's all rolled in. And then just keep forcing those sides in and roll the whole burrito up. Okay, so how to freeze tortillas. Here's the thing, tortillas, whatever way they came in the store, however they're packaged, if they're refrigerated, keep them in the refrigerator. If they're not refrigerated, you can store them outside the refrigerator. That's when the package is unopened. Once it's opened, put it in the fridge, but they're only gonna last a few weeks. So the best thing you can do for storing tortillas on the long haul, if you're not gonna use the whole package, is put parchment paper or tin foil between the tortillas, put them in their original packaging, hopefully it reseals, and put that in the freezer. By doing that, your tortillas will actually last up to a couple months, and it just makes it really easy to take one out when you need it. If you need to reheat the tortilla, boom, stick in the microwave like I said before, with a damp paper towel. You can also do it over the burner, whatever is easiest for you, but that's how you store tortillas and make them last for weeks. Okay, so you see what I'm putting in this breakfast burrito, but I wanna know what some of your favorite breakfast burrito ingredients are. I put tater tots in this one for some crunch, the spinach is in there for some moisture and flavor. Of course, you know, can't have breakfast without eggs, even if it's a vegan egg. This just egg stuff tastes amazing. And you know, I love a wet burrito, so just pouring over that ranchero sauce makes everything everything wonderful. But let me know what your favorite ingredients are. Drop those comments down below. And hey, if this is your first time watching, give me a thumbs up or please subscribe. 
Now we're gonna pour that ranchero sauce over the burrito. If you can't find ranchero sauce for some reason, you can use enchilada sauce, they're pretty similar. Ranchero sauce is a little bit more tomato-y, but either way, it'll be delicious. Drizzle it with that vegan sour cream, and then we're just gonna to top it off with some chopped cilantro. Okay, another storage tip, how to store cilantro. This trick works really, really well and will make your herbs last forever, forever it seems. Okay, so take the cilantro, trim off those ends, and put it in a jar or a cup of some sort. You wanna fill the cup a couple inches with water. The important part is to have the stem in the water, but not the leaves in the water. Fill it with water, stick it in the fridge stored like cut flowers, your cilantro will keep for a few weeks or even longer. You just wanna make sure that you change the water when it needs changing. If it starts to get dirty, change the water. It's probably every three to four days. Okay, so I wanna know what you think of this recipe. What did you think of the flavor profile and the ingredients? Drop a comment below, let me know what you think. And hey, if this is your first time watching, please subscribe, just click that subscribe button. And if you've watched before, you're a returning viewer, um, make sure you hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button. That makes, you will never miss any of my videos. Okay, I'll see you guys next time.